A little while ago, we received a special package from Worldwide Corals. What's in it? That's on this episode of Roscoe's Reef. So a short time ago, uh, I received a package from Worldwide Corals. Uh, four corals in particular that I received were ones that I really, really liked on the website. I'm going to take you through unpackaging these corals, how they're packaged uh, and sent to you, and also the acclimation process. I was going to show you how I dip these corals, but unfortunately that file got corrupted. So what I'm going to show you is basically a uh, a step-by-step -step simulation on how those corals were dipped and how I prep my corals to be to be dipped. Uh, then I'm going to show you how they looked when they first went in the tank and how they are today. So with that being said, let's get to it. Okay, so here's the package that we received this morning from uh, as you can tell, Worldwide Corals. Uh, it came here pretty early as they promised and uh, let's unbox it and see what's inside. So, first thing is the items that are inside the package. So let's see if they are, they live up to what the picture is. And this is uh, just some of the policies and their email and Facebook sections. So let's get into the package itself. Now it's packaged really well. You see Worldwide Corals tape on it. Okay. Okay, so the cold pack is still cold. And now. like a package of a bottle of Brightwell Aquatics dip. Coral was packaged really well. All right. So as you can see, let's open it up. So the first one out, this water is a little cold. This looks like it is the pinked out chalice. This has got to be the, looks like the green hispata. I still have water in them, but there is some water that's in the bag. Oh yeah, this is the uh, the Space Odyssey Acro that I've been waiting to see. And last, this appears to be the Mystic Sunset. So, what I'm going to do now. They're all packaged really well. They all have these metal tabs over them, so they're, they're locked in there pretty good. And the water is, there's no leaks coming out of the package. This might've been just residue from when they were packaged. Um, I'm gonna get to dip in these and uh, we'll go to the next step of this. So here we are right now with, and I'm acclimating the coral by dripping it. I have my drip line running from my main display. 
And uh, once these are acclimated, um, I'll dip them and then get them ready to go into the tank. So right after that part, uh, we'll see how they go through the dip process and what comes off of them, if anything, and then we'll go into the tank. So what I do when I dip, I use Revive, and that's my dip of choice. I've always had success with it, and basically that's what I use to dip. I have one cap full in here. I have four cups of tank water in this, and I mix that with about one and a half capfuls of Revive. Um, it's simple to break it down. so. What I tend to do is I'll give this a stir. I'll let, I'm using this coral skeleton as for demonstration purposes. I will throw that in there and I'll let that sit for a little while. And then once it, about a minute or so has gone by, I will start just using a turkey baster and gently blowing the frag and watching. Now, what I'll do is I'll watch to see if there's any debris or pests coming off in the bottom. And then I will look at the coral very, very carefully to see if there's anything on it as far as pests. And then it'll go over here into my fresh water. During this process, if you want, you see any um, pests or anything that you don't want on the coral, you can give it a soft brushing with a brush and that'll usually take off any, um, any debris or algae that may have got on the plug or on the coral. If you see something like red bugs or anything, that's uh, something that'll take special attention and uh, there are plenty of videos that you can check to deal with that with them um, but this is just a general description on what I do to dip now what will happen after this step is once the dipping process is done if it's loose like this one I'll mount this to a frag and I'll put it on a frag rack in the tank um, but other than that I'll let it sit on the sand for about a week or so and then it'll probably wind up where it's going to be in the tank as far as uh, the best I can figure out where it should be. Okay, so after the uh, acclimation and dipping process, here's what we have. This is the pinked out chalice right here is the Space Odyssey Acropora. Right here is the Mystic Sunset Montipora, and this is the, the Green Hespada Montipora. So, these four I'm going to acclimate on this little makeshift frag rack I made, and they'll probably sit here for about a week before I put them in on the rock work and put them where they're going to be. Um, what they're going to make their final home. So, uh, overall I'm thrilled to death with what I picked up from Worldwide Corals and uh, we will see how they do in my tank over time. So right here you see the picked out chalice, you can see how it's starting to encrust down. It's a slow grower, but it's growing towards the plug and down on to, to the rock that it's sitting on. I may move its location because I don't think it's at home here on the tower. I may move it to where my other chalice is sitting. Right here is the Mystic Monty. It's really doing well encrusting down onto the plug towards the rock and uh, it shows growth pretty much every day and its polyp extension is really, really good. Right here we have the Acro. This is the Space Odyssey Acro and the 
green hispata. Now the one thing that I'm noticing now since I got the uh, Space Odyssey in place and the place that it likes it, the tips are get showing signs of orange. So I'm really excited about how that's going to grow out. It's also growing uh, encrusting more and more down onto that plug and the green hispata polyp extension and the growth of this coral have been awesome. As you can see it's pretty much covered over that plug where um, it wasn't before and soon it will be growing on this piece of tonga branch. So as far as the corals are concerned that I got from Worldwide Coral I am happy and uh, very pleased at what I got. The prices were great, the shipping was fantastic and it arrived just as they said on time. Um, and I would recommend purchasing coral from them um, and be very happy and safe uh, and confident that your online purchase with them will be a good one. So with that being said, uh, this is Scott and I will see you next time around the reef tank. Thank you for watching this episode of Roscoe's Reef with Scott. As always, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe.